How big was that for the team to, to finally get some uh, validation that you know you guys have been you've been right there, you've been close, but you finally got got a big win. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, we was, we've been waiting for it all year. Uh, you know how good we are, and you know that that Baylor game we proved it. You look at yourself in division. 28 point game, struggles at the yeah. Oklahoma State, and then you kind of get it back on track at Baylor. Yeah. How do you try to find some consistency there? I'm um, just playing my game, you know, just not worry about you know, bad shots, good shot. You know, I'm just trying to stay in the same mode all game, and you know, I think I'll take care of so. Is there anything game preparation wise that you try to mm, change no, up just, or just try to stick the same? Or? No, I just stay the same, be mentally focused and ready to play. You know, go out there ready to, ready to give them my all and, and help my team win. Terry, obviously the last time you guys played in Manhattan, things didn't go your way. Uh, you're looking or hoping for a little bit of payback here? Definitely, definitely. I know we're going to have a, a great, great uh, fan base on Saturday. And, uh, we're going to come out with a lot of energy. What makes our defense so good? Huggins mentioned their ability to help. Yeah, their help defense is real good. When one guy has the ball, you're looking at four guys, five guys in the paint uh, help defense. And, uh, you know, we really got to swing the ball and move and cut hard to get them out of place. How about Thomas Gibson? How big of a challenge is that for some of your bigs? That you got a, you know, physical 6'8", 250 guy that likes to bang. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's a, he's a veteran big, so, you know, he, he knows a couple tricks of the game. Uh, but, you know, I, I got faith in our young guys. They're going to come ready to play and uh, give them a the, uh, uh, much, much needed and, and challenge, harder challenge than uh, what we played against in Manhattan. Team really makes you use, you know, every second of that shot clock and stuff. And again, I know their defense is outstanding and stuff, but then again, shot selection for you guys is going to be imperative tomorrow. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, shot selection is going to be imperative, but you know, we, we shoot way better at home anyway. So uh, we're going to look out coming ready to be ready to be on attack mode, um, right for tip off, and uh, put the pressure on them. You look at Kansas State. Uh, obviously, they, they beat Texas Tech, they beat you guys, but in between that, a couple of losses. How do you beat Kansas State? Just play a great game, you know, play our game instead of uh, the type of game we played down at, at their place. We didn't come ready to play. Uh, we're doing a lot of unchar uncharacteristic things. And um, if, we, if, we, if we play our game and do what we're supposed to do, we'll be fine. He can be messed up on Southwell sometimes, I guess, on switches or whatever. What about him being versatile? He's, he's sort of like plays a similar game that you do, right? Uh, a little bit more in the first. A little bit. I mean, he doesn't even really, really play in a post like that. You know, he likes to be out on the wing, facilitate the offense a little bit, and catch the ball. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to accept the challenge, look forward to it. You know. Is this length what trying to make that tough matchup problem? Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's real mobile. You know, he's really quick to be a, a four, you know, to play the four. He's really like a three, but he plays the four. But, um, you know, you know, that's, he really gives uh, a lot of teams, you know, struggles with that. You know, we're going we're gonna to have to hold him in check on, on, uh, on Saturday and uh, make him make out of it. Feel uncomfortable.